Are you a lazy fish keeper? Is your tank in balance and all that is growing is algae? Are you looking for a fish to deal with that problem? Am I running out of ideas and all I'm doing is fish spotlights? Well, just a little bit. Today we're going to talk about the auto sink list and who other than Corey from Aquarium Co-op to narrate it all. So Corey, take it away. So auto sink lists are a great catfish. They're a schooler, they get about two inches. They're pretty much only bought to be algae eaters. Now, they're recommended for nano tanks and that type of stuff. The problem is they eat algae incredibly well and they're almost always wild caught. So once they run out of algae, they typically start starving. They're very hard to feed or get them conditioned to feed on things like green beans, zucchini, uh, rapashi, algae wafers, very difficult. So the best method if you run out of algae would be to actually take some tank water and a couple of rocks, put them outside, get algae to grow from the sunlight, then rotate that back in, which seems counterintuitive because you bought these originally to eat algae and that they do, but when they run out, you have to keep them fed or they, they kind of starve off and die. The other problem you run into is a lot of times at a store there'll be 50 in a tank and there's no algae and we can't put anything in uh, there to feed them either so they can be really hungry watch for a pinch belly don't buy those ones you know the bare minimum i recommend is three ideally it'd be six or more that being said because we established they're hard to feed three in a 75 gallon a 55 gallon a 40 gallon that's all more appropriate than adding 10. A lot of people have a big algae problem and they want to add a ton. You're much better off adding, you know, three and maybe it takes them a month to eat all that algae, but then you have to supplement or feed them a lot less. On, on average, they're a fish that can tolerate a wide range of parameters from kind of 6.0 pH up to about 7.8. They like it kind of 6.8 to 7.4 though. So that's their preferred uh, range also when it comes to like temperature they prefer about 74 they'll go up as high as 80 and they'll go down as like 68 but right in that 74 range is good for them and I hope you actually buy some of these for because you like them they're one of the greatest features about them is they're not territorial they're not mean they don't attack other fish and so because they are so passive, they can be a target for other more aggressive fish like bettas and angels and that type of thing. Could be as, as much as $5, as cheap as maybe a dollar or two, but really look at those bellies and make sure that they don't look sunken in before you buy them and uh, quarantine them. They can get sick because they go through a lot of stress on the way there and good luck. I totally need a pond when I get home. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys follow my Facebook group, you guys will realize that I broke my camera a few days ago. And uh, the good news is I did find some footage that I shot in Hawaii when we were mangrove collecting. Um, but in memory of my camera, I'm going to show that footage right now. It really has nothing to do with the fish, but I thought it was some beautiful footage. So enjoy that and I'll see you guys on the next one. We're in the water somewhere. I'm here with AC Aqua and Aquascaping 101. Look at the background behind me. Carson's got my GoPro and he's gonna take some footage underwater because I don't wanna go down there right now. What, what'd you find so far, Carson? Uh, I found a lot of good fish. <laughs> they don't like my net. <laughs> <laughs> he's found some goby though, no? Yeah, I found some goby. Yeah. Can you stand there? Yeah. yeah. Stand. Carson's pretty tall. He's taller than me. <laughs> Look at that view right now. Woo! So right over there is Gilligan's Island. They were never stranded. They were just on vacation. How awesome is that? It's a fish pond over there. Small fish usually come in, grow too big to come out. They get fished out. Amazing. 
made it to like a little mangrove section. I think it's quite beautiful. We're literally walking and just walking the boats. And uh, just putting that down, see what we catch. Caught nothing. 